Hi, I'm Pastor Wayne Morrow, and I'm the transitional pastor at All People's Presbyterian Church. And boy, are we in the midst of a lot of transitions. And um, in fact, uh, the woman with me today, Del Morgan, she's the chair of our relocation committee, and uh, we're on the verge of some pretty wonderful things. But uh, before we hear about that, uh, I'm curious if you could tell us a little bit how you uh, came to your faith and your participation in All People's Presbyterian Church, Del. Well, I was raised by a fundamentalist minister, and my husband was a Jesuit trained Catholic. So I had a lot of uh, different uh, religious background. I attended a Lutheran university too. But I, as much as I believe that both of those men were godly men, the minister in the fundamentalist church and the and the Jesuit Catholic, they both did a lot of service to people and helped a lot of people. So I don't have any problem with that, but I had trouble with some of the rules, the traditions, the long list of sins. <laughs> when I read my Bible, I did not find dancing or playing cards or how I wore my hair or jewelry to be that important an issue. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus instructed us to love the Lord with all our hearts and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Throughout his ministry, he showed love to lame and poor and foreigners. His love for many religious leaders, however, of that day could be described as tough love. He said, there is, a, in the Sermon on the Mount, he said, there's a saying, love your friends and hate your enemies. But I say, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you. If you love those who love you, what good is that? Even scoundrels do that much. So following Jesus and not tradition, I found a church which fits my idea of what Jesus wanted us to do. All People's Presbyterian Church. I've been here for, oh, maybe close to 10 years. And I've been on session uh, three years, then one off, then another three years. And now I'm starting what would be my seventh year on session. And all that time, it was like, I don't cook. I don't teach Sunday school. I sure don't sing or play a musical instrument. Why am I here? What's my job? And then all of a sudden it came up. We need to move this seven acre property with this lovely uh, mid-century modern is, is really needing a lot more care than we can give it. And, and we need to be thinking more of serving people than taking care of a building. So there I was, I had my job. I had something I knew something about. And so we have, uh, we have experienced finding, interviewing two um, appraisers and three realtors and listing the church for what we thought was a reasonable price and, and you know, fit what its value, true value was. And we ended up with a better than full price cash offer with a two year lease back. That has to be a miracle. And then, and then I keep telling people that when God did that miracle, he didn't run out of miracles. He has more. We think we're well in the process of doing that and that we're going to be able to offer a lot more services to people in our new location. And we're excited about that. What do you like about this particular location and why does it meet the needs of all people's Presbyterian church better than being out in the cove? Well, I, uh, I think that the building has a beautiful space that will, will be quickly turned into looking like a sanctuary. 
which is lovely without it looking like a church on the outside. And, and we're on a main street right in the center of town. Uh, the other day I was there and going down the street, the next stoplight, while I was stopped waiting for the light to change, I watched 20 children get off the school bus and walk across the street. And I thought, yes, that's where we need to be. And I've talked to two people in casual conversation who said, why, that's close to where I live. So I'm getting this feedback that the location is right for us to be in the middle of the people we want to serve. And it, it's just very exciting, the possibilities we have there. Excellent. Now, oh, you also mentioned that uh, there's the possibility of being able to welcome people in for meals and, and that sort of uh, hospitality too. Oh, yes. Jesus fed people and he, he, uh, he taught us so that, that you don't start out with people asking them to join your church. You, you start out with providing services to them. And, and you show them what you can do in their lives. Um, my daughter has said, when you have people in and you feed them, you have posters on the wall with scripture because food alone is not what we live by. <laughs> so you, you give them uh, scripture, you give them hope and love in, in what you say around them. And you can also do it, of course, in person. Yeah. And I'm excited about our possibilities for music. I have to have a lot of people singing when I sing so that I get drowned out so they don't hear me, but, yeah. uh, but I love it. And, and I think people are drawn to music and to food. And these are going to be part of what we yeah. do. Music and food right in the middle of a downtown area. People yes. actually be able to hear it and see it and, yes. and join in by just taking a couple steps from their normal walkway down the street yes. to get into the front door of the. Of they'll the, know the we're there. Yeah, yeah, they'll hear you and be able to smell the food. So, so those are great things about the location and and how they're going to uh, to help the church be sort of out of the cove and into the the midst of all the people. Yes, and if they want to find out more about it, just go to www.allpeoplespc.org. So people can hear about it now and, uh, and then join in person soon when the location is secured. Absolutely. And they'll, they'll be able to, we'll be able to tell them what the location is too. It's a secret right now. It's a secret right now, <laughs> but probably not for long. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, talking with Dell. She has a lifetime of learning to come to a position where she's uh, open to loving more people and uh, welcoming all people all the time. And, uh, and we hope that you'll uh, feel welcome and that you'll know you're loved and accepted and in Christ Church and uh, that you'll uh, join either online or in person to All People's Presbyterian Church. Thank you for being part of our experience. Peace of Christ be with you.